Hi guys, so I know that this isn't a normal scheduled video, get out of here, but I have decided that I, since I'm going to be using this here, uh, where's the flashlight? I appear to be missing my flashlight. But anyway, I am using, if it'll show up, I'm using a hot tub, but you can't, you can't see it right now, but uh, trust me, I'm, I am using a hot tub. And so, I am going to be playing this game, Executive Command. I just turned on the hot tub heat while in the hot tub. So, since you can't really see me, I might as well turn this video off. Actually, I got an idea. Uh, maybe this will work if I... There you go. You can really see the steam coming out of it. And so... I already cut off the... the camera, so you can't see my face in, anymore. Only my avatar. I, I really wish... Ooh, that's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Really wish I could just get rid of the, that avatar thingy, but oh well. It is literally steaming right now. Let's check the temperature to see what it's like. And it says... is just under 100 Fahrenheit, so it's not too bad. But... But it's, it is pretty cold out, considering it's December. That is so much steam right now. Let's put this here so it doesn't get wet while I get into the tub. So much steam. Anyway, new game. Uh, normal mode. It, executive command. What this game is about is your. You're basically supposed to be the President of the United States for one term. Now, that's four years, not really... Haji haji haji. Not really much, considering that four years is just one term and you can have up to two terms, but then again, who knows what can happen in two terms. Excuse me, in just one term. This lady looks... This lady looks like Hillary Clinton gonna be careful not to drop the phone here. I swear it's like I'm in a shower, but it's outside. Let's take Barack Obama. Well, Jane, looks like we've got a new president in office. Not sure about you, but I got high hopes for this one. Yes, Ted, I'm certainly looking forward to the State of the Union address. Welcome to Washington, Mr. President. As your new ch chief of staff, I'll be aiding you in your duties as president. On that note, I'm a fill over. It's high time to you go we got over to the Capitol for you to deliver your State of the Union address. Good luck. Invitation to the Capitol. Okay, let's go here. What is my agenda? Hmm. Select an agenda to learn more about it. The agenda you choose will be a, a point of your presidency. Um. Security. A safe, secure nation requires everything from strong border. Ooh, that's hot, 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 hot. Let's try again later. A strong border security to swift emergency response. Help Congress understand the importance of national security during your presidency. That sounds pretty good. Let's check out health. The health of our nation depends on the health of our citizens. From medical research to food safety, show Congress you are ready to work 
for a healthier America. You. Americans under the age of 18 experience the world differently from adults. Work with Congress to find ways to protect and promote America's youth. Energy. Energy policy covers how we power everything, from cars to homes to factories. I think I'll choose energy, but let's check out the other two. A strong education policy... The U.S. government can spend more than it takes in causing a budget deficit. <laughs> okay, you can pause the recording. You can pause the video if you want to read all of that uh, one more time just to review it. Security, three, two, one. Health, three, two, one. Youth, three, two, one. Energy, three, two, one. Education, three, two, one. And deficit reduction, three, two, one. I'm going with energy. My fellow Americans. I will ensure availability of energy to power and heat American homes today and into the future. That was awesome, Jane. What an exciting time to be alive. Shortest State of the Union address I've ever seen. Whoa there, Ted. Let's see how well this president supports such an ambitious agenda before we get too carried away. Stop by the White House periodically to check your mailbox. It will fill with important items that need your attention. It looks like I'm at the White House. My my name is Orak Hussein Obama. Yes, Bo Obama, not Obama. Bo Obama. White House, this is your home. Come here to sit in the Oval Office and review presidential tasks. Your mailbox will tell you how many tasks there are waiting. One unread. Read these policies carefully. Thumbs up if it's a good policy, thumbs down if bad. Hmm. Provide tax credits for parents who adopt special needs children. That looks good. If any policy is bad, you must veto the whole bill. Help parents afford to pay for their child's college with tax credits. Make parents pay more taxes if they have children with bad grades. Hmm. I think that all of these are pretty good. I think I'll sign the whole bill. The Prez. Aww. Oh well. I guess I'll have to try better next time. And I'll leave. After you sign a bill into law, take it to the correct department. Once there, you can delegate the law and help it take it, help it take effect. I think I'll take this to the Department of Education. They seem like they're important people. Hello, Mr. President. What a shiny new law! I can try to execute it for you. What sh what would you like to do? Delegate. The Department. Of oh, come on. Was there anything else I could help you with, Mr. President? Uh, no thank you. Oh right, it didn't say that I had anything. So, this is the Department of Treasury? Yes. What a pleasure it is to have you. Come back with a law and I can try to execute it for you. This is the guy who supposedly could have done that better. This is the Department of Health and Human Services. Okay. And this is... Oh, I got a mail. Is it a love letter of, a, of some lady who is saying that she wishes to marry me? Oh, it's Economic Crisis Delegation in Tokyo, Japan. Dear Mr. President, Please join a meeting of the leaders in the world's strongest economies in Tokyo, Japan. In light of the difficult economic situations occurring around the globe, we need America's cooperation to decide what should be done to fix the problem. Sincerely, Prime Minister of Japan. I think I'll go there. I had the option between going there or sending my secretary, but I gotta, I gotta be in person. This situation requires some international diplomacy. 
take your letter to the airport if you want to head out. But you should know that flying takes valuable time and your mailbox will continually will continue to fill up while you're gone. I think this is the airport. Good day, Mr. President. It looks like you were scheduled to go to Tokyo, Japan. Air Force went in fueled and ready to take off. Remember, the flying takes time, so take care of things before you leave. Would you like to go now? Uh, sure. I, it doesn't look like I've got anything left that I need to do. And so I'm flying. Hope for the economy. America participates in Global Financial Forum. I got mail. And it looks like I, ch I chewed through some time. Alright, let's go there. Go back to the White House and check my mailbox. Is it... Is it some school children telling me that I need to stop going to Japan because I'm such a weeaboo? Oh, it's a bill. Reducing energy costs. The first one we shut down all government buildings so that the government use, will use less energy. Uh, no. Research ways to save the government money by reducing its energy use. I like that, but the first one's bad, so I'll veto it. Good catch, that was a bad policy. And my public approval went up. Yay! A again? More mail. Uh, it's the same one, but with that one scratched out. <laughs> Perfect. Great, that policy of strong support and my thing went up again. The press. Reducing energy costs. I think I'll take this to the Department of Energy. I think that's what that is. Hello, Mr. President. What a shiny new lot, you... Uh, blah, 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 blah. The Department of Energy executed this successfully. Was there anything else I could help you with, Mr. President? Nah. Just as I thought, more mail. This is blah blah. Advanced technology in schools. Uh, partner with technology companies to give the latest TS. Provides money to states to train teachers on how to use new technology in a meaningful way. Research how techno- uh, you know what, I'm just gonna sign all of them. Public support, public support, and public support. Awesome. My public approval rating is now 53%. Mr. President, Congress has invited you to speak at the Capitol. This is a great opportunity to rally some support around your State of the Union agenda. Don't delay, this invitation won't last long. Today I want to talk to Congress and the American people about energy. Hmm, what should I talk about next? People talk, or talk too much about this country's energy needs, I just don't see the problem. Or, our quality of life and businesses depend on affordable energy. Well, considering my agenda is, is energy, I think I'll push this one. My agenda pro progress just went up. Many Americans struggle to pay their energy bills and need help. Or, you just plug what you need into a socket and it works. There is no problem I can see. Night goggle or night vision goggles will cut down our energy needs in the evenings. Goggles for hell no. Making sure we have access to reliable sources of energy is key to a strong economy. It seems like it goes up by seven every time I make progress. I am pretty sure we are going to find a new energy source on Mars. I'm I'll put in a call to NASA. I pledge to invest in renewable. This is so obvious! Renewable sources of energy that are reliable and don't cause pollution. Help me make solutions like these a reality. Thanks for coming. And advanced technology. Q 
keep coming back to Congress when invited to speak. If you want Congress to start passing bills that support your agenda, you'll need to make full progress towards rallying their support first. Uh... Where was I going with... Oh, I think the Health and Human Services is where I went first. Hello, Mr. President. What well, a shiny new law. I can, I can try to execute it for you. What would you like to do? Wait, it's for school, so I think I'll go to the Department of Education. Yay, successful. And I've got more public approval. People are gonna people are gonna love me by the time this is over. Let's go back home. I got mail. This is your home. Come here to sit in the Oval Office and review presidential tasks. Why am I rereading that? Dear Mr. President, Nepal is suffering from the effects of a devastating earthquake. The problem is especially bad because of the poverty that has affected our country for years. I hope the representatives of the United States will come to uh, will come meet with me to discuss what help you might provide. Uh, yeah, let's go there in person. Cause that's pretty bad. No, not yet, not yet. Let's go back. I gotta check my mail again. Study anti-counterfeiting measures used by other countries to see if we can use them. Make our money out of food so that you can taste... Just ridiculous. And going to Nepal. Uh, again? Oh, okay. It seems that the process goes by pretty, pretty quickly. My goodness. Health insurance, Medicaid, since they share the program, uh, Medicaid. I think that's good. Great policy has got strong support and strong support. My public approval rating is now at 55%. Finally, let's, what's this law, uh, health and human services, because it's a human service. It's either that or the Department of Defense and, oh, Department of Treasury. Oh, it's because they use money. I get it, I get it. Let's see, what's this law again? Health and comfort. Oh, this one for sure. I think that should be it. Let's let's go to Nepal. The Nepalese need my help. Fly now. And I'm flying. Flying, flying, in, flying, flying. In. U.S. AIDS in Nepal crisis. American delegation sees devastation firsthand. Oh my goodness, the hurricane wiped out everything here. Someone needs to do something. Someone like the President of the United States. Someone who's... Oh wait, that's me. What you want to bet I don't even get back. Seems the president's having handling things pretty solidly. Good thing too. In international news, trouble is viewing in the country of Donovia. I'm afraid tough challenges are ahead. Right, Jane. War may be inevitable and the United States is preparing for the worst. More mail. Preventing childhood diseases. Make sure the vaccinations are safe. Set guidelines for when children should get vaccinations to prevent horrible diseases. 
Require that kids get shots even when... No. That was a bad policy. Bad. Bad. You are bad. Uh, I'm gonna pause the recording. I just got a text. And I'm back. Alright, so... Let's go back. Uh, let's leave the White House and check to see where else I am needed. More mail, more mail. Preventing childhood. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that looks... That's okay. That looks great. Great, that policy is strong support and strong support. It's not about what the public approval is, even though I happen to get some more. It's all about g doing what is right. Support military youth programs. Support the Navy Sea Cadet Corps program for youth between 13 and 17. Re increase funding for Army ROTC programs in high schools across the country. I think that'll work. More money is almost always a good thing. Almost always, anyway. Uh, I think that that would... A declaration of war just arrived from Congress. Please take immediate action on it. Congress finds that the state of war exists between the, pe the country of Donovia and the, con the government and people of the United States. Donovia is intent on world domination and has declared war against the United States. Therefore, the Senate and House of Representatives formally declare war against Donovia for this unprovoked attack. For this unprovoked act. The Congress gives the U President the power to use and direct all military forces of the United States to carry on war against the Donovia and bring this conflict to a successful conclusion. I wish... Oh, is it over? I think I'll stay here for a little while. It's cozy and nice and cozy. You find it that the nation is now at war. Uh, okay, I am going to step out of the tub just to turn it back on because that really was nice. You can hear me dripping, can't you? And back into the tub I go. Being careful not to drop it. We are now war to science of action is key. In a state of war, you are responsible for making tough military decisions as Commander-in-Chief, but don't forget to also attend to build in your agenda. Wait, why am I going to the Department of Energy for this? I'm going to Homeland Security. Mr. President, there have been major developments in the war. You're swiftly going to ship needed. Please review the military briefing and go straight to the Department of Energy. Dunovia's Navy has blockaded U.S. shipping routes across the Atlantic. It must be broken as soon as possible. Uh-huh. Hello, Mr. President. What a shiny new law. I can try to execute it for you. Please do. You really look like Hillary Clinton. Department of Defense would have done it better. Oh, come on. Really? Uh, going to the Pentagon. 
Woohoo! Should I deploy troops? Hell yes, I should deploy troops. Um, I think the Coast Guard's the better choice for this, because it's pretty close to United States waters. Blockade busted. United States supply routes restored by Coast Guard. Was there anything else I could help you with, Mr. President? Eh, uh, not yet. I'm just glad that's over. Wait, I... It, the thing's still red. I'm still at war. Disaster response and recovery. Arrange temporary housing and crisis counseling for community strike... Free training programs. Yeah. Good public approval ratings. Oh, I didn't see this. Uh huh. I'll get back to that later. Disaster response and recovery. Congress has invited me. That's the most important thing. Even while at war, we cannot forget about the energy issue at home. We don't really need electricity, fire, oh uh, no, 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 no. No, that's obviously the bad one. We want to think about the future and the long-term success of this country when we make decisions about new energy laws. The real, problems is, the real problem is all this technology is using up our good energy. Turn off the machine. No, no. Tons of recyclables are thrown into the trash every day. We need to recycle where we can. I promise to make energy, electricity and gas more affordable so families can pay their bills. I will order all Americans to start reading by candlelight to save electricity. No. Can't we just ask Canada or Mexico to... No. We don't need extension cords. We can power ourselves. So... Wait, what? None? That's odd. There have been major developments in the war. Okay, so that's what the next one is. Donovia's military is training in the fields outside its capital city. Our generals recommend an air assault. The generals generally know what they are doing, so I'll follow their advice. Welcome, Mr. President. We've already received word of the military situation. How would you like to handle it? Deploy troops. And they recommended the Air Force, so... Yeah. Enemy site neutralized. Air Force damages training capacity. Was there anything else? No, thank you. Surely there's gotta be a bill now, right? Yeah. Awesome. Monitor the design and manufacture of medical devices like artificial hearts. Approve new medical devices and equipment even if they are proven to not work. No. Only approve the ones that actually work. That was a bad policy. Bad. No, 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 no. Another development in the war. Nuclear weapons and... Oh shoot. Me in the foot. That needs to be taken care of right this second. I can't allow any countries to develop nuclear weapons. Near its capital city. Nuclear weapon plant disrupted. Air Force neutralized the threat. That was close. Given that they're developing nuclear weapons, this could be a problem. And I got two males. Are 
yeah, that's better. Health and human services, it goes. And the other one? Oh, war diplomacy. Mr. President, the president of Donovia has announced that he plans to attack all, co all countries north of the equator. The entire international community must work together to stop this. American leadership is needed to plan a way to restore the peace. General Secretary of the United Nations. Excuse me, Secretary General of the United Nations. I'm expecting a... Oh wait, uh, Health and Human Services, right. Yay, public approval is up! I forget, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, I'm supposed to show up. Because I promised that I would show up. United States leads international response. Awesome. Welcome back. Was there anything else? No, thank you. I love how many black people there are here. Provide the military with better tools and humanitarianism. Yeah. Strong support and strong support. I am. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. I think the, lo the fighting the terrorism is the Department of Defense, but I'm not sure. They could have their hands full. Cool. I did it. I get it, right? Another mail, and oh my goodness, year two is already coming to an end. Why would I remodel the Pentagon to make it into a hexagon? What? That sounds hilarious, but no. <laughs> Why? I'm expecting another war development. Or another mail. Pentagon purchases. Ah, uh, yeah. And now I'm probably gonna take this to the treasury. Either that or the Pentagon. Anyway, I think this will go to the Pentagon. Because they're ma- uh, No, 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 let's do the treasury. Hello, Mr. President, what a shiny new law. I told you so. The nation's worst fears have come true. That's right, Americans. Congress has declared full-blown war. This is really a handful for the president. It's going to take skillful military and diplomatic decision-making to get us out of this one. Keep a sharp eye out for any diplomatic tasks in the mailbox areas, Mr. President. Working with allies will help end this war sooner and with a better outcome for us. More diplomacy in Mexico. I'm inviting you and the Prime Minister of Canada to Mexico City to meet with the Denovia, to meet with me. Denovia plans to attack all countries and take up the entire continent. We need to come up with a strategy to prevent this. Time is of the essence. I am go I am coming, Mexico. North America needs us. Fly now, right now, let's go, 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 go. North America unites over the threat. New defense strategy from the United States, Canada, and Mexico. And I got mail. So this is how long it took. Welcome back, was there anything else I could do? I could help you, no. Congress has invited you to speak at the Capitol. 
coming. More cameras. Even while at war, we cannot forget about the energy issue at home. Making smart choices about where we buy energy from is key to our relationships. Hmm. We have so many more important issues. Yeah, no, let's go with the last one. We have, we have enough energy sources for today. I can't imagine we would ever run out. I uh, know. We need to have the latest technology to get the most of our current energy sources. I support finding new sources of energy that will be around for generations to come. I propose the national bedtime where Americans go to bed when the sun comes down. No lights needed. No. Let's go with the left. It is hot. To save energy, no one should be allowed to turn on the heat in the winter. Cheaper and cleaner energy should be our goal. Help me make the solutions come and become reality. Prepare citizens on how to be ready. Sponsor a competition that recognizes the best citizen leaders. Oh, nice, nice. Make it illegal to, no. Let's see, I'm expecting mail. See, everyone loves me. I am at 80% approval repra- Okay, not everyone. Not everyone loves me. Not yet. Department of Defense? Mr. President, there are major developments in the war. Swift leadership is needed. Donovia are giving... Donovia forces are gathering in the largest port of the city, but we're not sure why. Let's deploy the Navy. Deploy troops. In fact, deploy the Navy. Deploy everyone. Port gathering ends early. Donovia's military interrupted by Navy. Good. Uh, I think that goes Homeland Security. Hillary Clinton has to handle that one. Yay! Let's check out what, what the mailbox has. War diplomacy. Donovia plans to invade Alaska, which means Canada's security is at risk. I'm going. I'm coming, Canada. More mail. I oh, know. Commemorative currency. Special nickels that celebrate famous United States scientists and researchers. Cool. Special quarters that feature some amazing animals from our national parks. Uh, sure. America's ugliest presidents. I don't think so. Let's go to Canada. Oh, it's already here. I'm expecting a full recovery. And now to the Department of Treasury. They handled money last time, they handled money this time. I mean, they didn't handle the money last time, and it got... poorly executed. Now, let's go to Canada. Oh my god! You know what? I'm coming, but you're gonna have to wait for me to do go to Canada. You're gonna have to wait, okay? So it's early, you're gonna have to wait. I'm gonna get mail. Oh, Canada. 
Leaders meet in not to want to discuss different strategy. Welcome back, Mr. President. Let's go take care of that right now. Right now. Right now. Nations unite against Anovia. Pressure mounts with American participation. Oh. 